Good morning, boys and girls. I brought a special guest with me today. That's right, it's a chicken. Now, if you're thinking that my story is going to be about a chicken, you are absolutely right. Many years ago, when I was a little girl, I got into a lot of trouble because of a chicken. You see, I grew up in a small town in India where it was quite common for people to keep chickens in their backyard. One afternoon, my dad surprised us with our very first chicken. It was a special country breed. I'm not sure which one exactly, but to me, that chicken looked spectacular. My dad had been saving up for a while and was now the proud owner of that beautiful country chicken. He tied a cord around one of its legs and then tied the other end to a guava tree. This would give the chicken some time to get used to its new home. He gave us strict instructions not to go near that chicken. After admiring the chicken for a while, my brothers and I eventually left. Later that afternoon, my neighbor, who was also my friend, came over and suggested that we go check on the chicken. My brothers were not interested, so the two of us went to the backyard, looked at the chicken, and did our assessments from a distance. The chicken looked perfectly fine to me, but my friend shook his head. He said, the chicken looked sad and bored and probably wanted to go for a walk. I wasn't really convinced, but my friend was quite persistent. He was sure he saw tears in the chicken's eyes. Shaking his head again, he said he couldn't imagine the pain the chicken was going through being taken away from its home from its family and then being tied to a tree. Oh, his words pierced my little heart. I couldn't let that poor chicken suffer any longer. So I went ahead and untied the rope from around the guava tree and took the poor sad chicken for a late afternoon stroll around the neighborhood. Soon we had all the other kids following us around, begging for a turn to walk that chicken. And just like that, I became an instant celebrity with my very own entourage. Never had I felt so important. I was loving all the attention. I proudly looked at my friend who was walking right beside me, and I felt guilty about not giving him a turn. After all, it was his brilliant idea. So I decided to give him a turn. But as soon as I handed him the rope, something dreadful happened. The other kids ganged up on him trying to snatch the rope out of his hand so they could have a turn. The poor chicken started clucking wildly, but the kids just got rowdier. And then there was a loud frightened squawk as the chicken suddenly broke free and took off. We all ran after it, but we were no match for that frightened bird. And just as quickly as that chicken disappeared, all the other kids, including my friend, ran away, leaving me all alone. And there I was, with no chicken, no friend, no entourage, and guess who was home? My dad. Big tears rolled down my face as I tried explaining to him how it wasn't my fault really. I blamed my friend. I blamed the other kids. I even blamed that angry chicken for running away and getting me into all that trouble. But none of my excuses worked. I got in trouble all right. Although that chicken got me into a lot of trouble that day, that chicken also taught me some important life lessons that I would like to share with you. One, having good intentions does not make it okay to disobey your parents or to disobey God. Ephesians 6 1 says, Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. It doesn't matter what the world tells you. Do not let anyone deceive you into disobeying God or your parents. 2. You are responsible for your own actions and choices. 
Blaming someone else for your poor choices will do you no good. It did not work for Adam and Eve back then in the Garden of Eden. It is not going to work for you either. It's best to admit your mistakes so you can learn from them. And finally, when we get in trouble, sometimes our friends desert us and leave us all alone. It really hurts when that happens, doesn't it? But we have one true friend who will never leave us nor forsake us, and that is our friend Jesus. Boys and girls, make sure you make Jesus your friend today. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for another beautiful Sabbath day. I ask that you help us be obedient to your word. May your spirit guide us and enable us to make good choices. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen.